In this month's tutorial, I'd like to talk about some interesting findings around the differences between male and female survey respondents. Considering that males and females differ dramatically, it should be no surprise that survey responses from men and women can affect your data accordingly. Let's take a look at some interesting real-life examples that reinforce this. The New Jersey Supreme Court Committee on Women in the Courts found that 54% of respondents indicated that attorneys were treated about the same, regardless of their gender. When comparing responses by gender, they found that 80% of males perceive that attorneys are treated the same, almost double the perceptions of 43% of female respondents. Another interesting study that we found was done by Virginia Tech's Pamplin College of Business. They conducted a national survey to find out how the current economic situation might affect the likelihood to travel for pleasure this year. In this study, 58% of women versus 42% of men reported that they would be less likely to travel due to the economy. So your next question might be, how do I gather this type of insight from my survey data? The answer is simple. Make sure you are using an online survey tool that allows you to segment your survey results so that you can find similarities and differences between gender in your data. Zoomerang Online Surveys provides premium subscribers with a feature called Comparison Reports. This feature allows you to drill down into your survey data by the filters that you define. You can then create charts that bring the information and insight to life. Let's take a look at how this feature works. Earlier this year, we sent an online survey asking for feedback on what President Obama should do now that he's been elected president. In the Analyze Results tab of this survey, let's go ahead and use the Comparison Reports feature to see how women and men answer differently to question number two. The question asks, if you were moving to Washington with school-age kids in tow, where would you send them for their education? To see how males and females answered differently to this question, I'm going to click the New Comparison Report link from the left report menu here. Now let's give this report a name to help identify it from the comparison dropdown, which ultimately shows all the comparison reports that I've created. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the male and female filter from the available filters area on the left and click the right arrow button to move it to the included filters area on the right. I'm going to select the Filters Explain Questions calculation method, then I'll click the Save button to submit my report. Now that I've saved the report, it displays on the Results Overview page. What's really cool is that I can display the report anytime by selecting it from the Comparison drop-down menu on this page.